The Falange Española Tradicionalista y de las Juntas de Ofensiva Nacional Sindicalista Fet y de las Jones, English, Traditionalist Spanish Phalanx of the Councils of the National Syndicalist Offensive was the sole legal party of the Francoist state in Spain. It emerged in 1937 from the merger of the Carlist party with the Falange Española de las Jones and was dissolved in 1977 by Adolfo Suárez's transitional government. History <laughs> Early history <laughs> Spanish Civil War With the eruption of the Civil War in July 1936, the Falange fought on the nationalist faction against the Second Spanish Republic. Expanding rapidly from several thousand to several hundred thousand, the Falange's male membership was accompanied by a female auxiliary, the Sessian Femenina. Led by José Antonio's sister Pilar, this latter subsidiary organization claimed more than a half million members by the end of the war and provided nursing and support services for the nationalist forces. The command of the party rested upon Manuel Hedila as many of the first generation leaders were dead or incarcerated by the Republicans. Among them was Primo de Rivera, who was a government prisoner. As a result, he was referred to among the leadership as El Asente, the absent one. After being sentenced to death on 18 November 1936, José Antonio Primo de Rivera was executed on 20 November 1936 a date since known as 20N in Spain in a Republican prison, giving him martyr status among the phalangists. This conviction and sentence was possible because he had lost his parliamentary immunity after his party did not have enough votes during the last elections. After Francisco Franco seized power on 19 April 1937, he united under his command the Falange with the Carlist Communion Traditionalista, forming Falange Española Traditionalista y de los Johns, Fet y de los Johns whose official ideology was the Falangists' 27 puntos, reduced after the unification to 26. Despite this, the party was in fact a wide-ranging nationalist coalition, closely controlled by Franco, parts of the original Falange including Hedela, and many Carlists did not join the unified party. Franco had sought to control the Falange after a clash between Hedela and his main critics within the group, the legitimistas of Agustin Aznar and Sancho de Villa y Fernández de Celis, that threatened to derail the nationalist war effort. None of the vanquished parties in the war suffered such a toll of deaths among their leaders as did the Falange. Sixty percent of the pre war Falange membership lost their lives in the war. However, most of the property of all other parties and trade unions were assigned to the party. In 1938, all trade unions were unified under Falangist command. Topic: <inaudible> Francoist Spain. After the war, the party was charged with developing an ideology for Franco's regime. This job became a cursus honorum for ambitious politicians, new converts who were called camisas nuevas, new shirts in opposition to the more overtly populist and ideological old shirts from before the war. Membership in the Falange – FET reached a peak of 932,000 in 1942. Despite the official unification of the various nationalist factions within the party in 1937, tensions continued between dedicated phalangists and other groups, particularly Carlists. Such tensions erupted in violence with the Begonia incident of August 1942, when hardline phalangist activists attacked a Carlist religious gathering in Bilbao with grenades. The attack and the response of Carlist government ministers most notably Varela and Galarza led to a government crisis and caused Franco to dismiss several ministers. Ultimately, six phalangists were convicted of the attack and one, Juan Dominguez, was executed. By the middle of the Second World War, Franco and leading phalangists, while distancing themselves from the faltering European fascists, stressed the unique Spanish Catholic authoritarianism of the regime and the phalange. Instructions were issued in September 1943 that henceforth the phalange, FET would be referred to exclusively as a movement and not a party. The Falange also developed youth organizations, with members known as Fletches and Palayos, under the umbrella of the Spanish Youths Organization. Most of these young members wore red berets. 
With improving relations with the United States, economic development and the rise of a group of relatively young technocrats within the government, the Falange continued to decline. In 1965, the SEU, the movement's student organization, was officially disbanded. At the same time, the membership of the Falange as a whole was both shrinking and aging. In 1974, the average age of Falangists in Madrid was at least 55 years. The organization's relatively few new members came mostly from the conservative and devoutly Catholic areas of northern Spain. <laughs> Notes <laughs>